Welcome back, Bob Pompiani, Chris Miller with you tonight. Call that number you see. Before I do that, Chris, I have a um, tweet from DJ Butler who says there have been bad teams with subpar players before, but this current GM manager and group of players just feels different. It feels like the confirmation that the Pirates will never compete again. Uh, that's a reasonable conclusion from what we've seen here. I don't know how long you're supposed to wait for this to occur, but if you're looking at three years ago, another five-year plan, I don't think they're anywhere close to getting to year five being competitive. Just look at the teams that they played, especially the Yankees. It's how the, the other half, or in this case, about the other third of baseball lives. I said Josh Allen looks like he's playing a different sport when he's playing quarterback, given what the Steelers are putting out there. The Yankees look like they're playing a different sport. There's a guy who's going to hit probably about 65 home runs in the middle of that lineup. There are numerous other guys who are, gonna, who are very good offensive players. Garrett Cole, Jameis, like, they got it all, Bob. I mean, what are, what are the Pirates supposed to do? Not, I shouldn't say what are the Pirates supposed to do. How are Pirates fans supposed to have realistic hopes right. that the team is ever going to put something on the field that's going to come close to matching that? I could understand right. if your answer is to just throw your hands up and say, well, they're not. Rich in Scott Township joins us right now. What's going on, Rich? Good evening, gentlemen. I wonder if Bob Nutting was watching the Pirates play last night and tonight on TV. What an embarrassment. They're playing in a public stadium. Some Somebody better take the bull by the horns and force him out of here. And Mr. Rooney ought to be ashamed with the team he puts on the field. Can't win a playoff game. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, there's a difference there if you're going to start comparing those two. Uh, I mean, the, the Steelers do it by spending as much. You may not like how they spend. You may not like how they draft or whatever. But at least they're competitive. They try to be every single year. The Pirates are not trying to be competitive at all. If you can make the case that they're trying actually to lose, Chris, so they can get a number one pick. And then, you know, if that's the case, okay, fine. Turn it into Fernando Tatis. Turn it into one of these guys that you see, these 21-year-old phenoms, you know, uh, Acuna, anyone. Uh, and, and we don't see that here. When are they going to have a guy come up that early? I mean, that's another part of the Pirates sort of mantra. Guys never show up in the major leagues that early who are high-profile Ballyhooed prospects because we always hear some nebulous nonsense excuse that they have to do X, Y, and Z and fail in AAA and then learn how to deal with failure and come back and succeed. It's, it's probably been one of my biggest frustrations over the years is watching other teams have guys come up when they're like 20 – more like 21 years old. And with the Pirates, it seems like prospects don't really hit here until they're 23, 24 years old. And then there's a two-year period where they have to learn how to play baseball. Come on. Yeah. That's absurd, really. Let's go to Chase in Mount Washington. Chase, you're going to be uh, quick here, though, if you don't mind. Chase. What are your thoughts on Najee, what are your thoughts on Najee Harris? Uh, we've all seen the uh, all-22s. Him not hitting the hole. How do we feel about drafting him that high because well I mean that's going to be said a it question. was a mistake then you, you I said so? it was a mistake then because yeah the, that position's devalued Bob I said they should have drafted an offensive lineman like I don't know Creed Humphrey would have been nice yeah. I said they were doing something they shouldn't have done he looks hurt he looks tentative and Jalen Warren looks like a better option that's how I feel about Najee Harris right now well, I can understand that. Uh, I expect more from him. I expected more from him to start this season. I know he's been injured, but I thought, given what he did in Alabama, a physical approach to this team, I didn't mind that pick, but I thought they'd actually do more to surround him with help on the offensive line, and they really haven't done that. We got to go. Chris, thank you as always. Appreciate it. We'll do it again next week with you, and we'll see you tomorrow at 1035 and every night right here on the Ireland Contracting Network.